Hello everyone, it's that time again for Sketchbox. Here's the art on the box and we're gonna go right on in and pull out the contents. This is the April Sketchbox. I'm setting the box aside. I heard something clink. Now what is this? Uh-oh. You can maybe pause and read that. Um, Okay, so Ecoline liquid watercolor, and it appears that I need my phone. Okay, I went and got my phone and got this scanned. Let's see, we have a lovely sticker. I'm gonna set that aside, and then the substrate here looks like fluid 100 hot press finish watercolor paper for Sketchbox. 100% cotton, 140 pound, and it looks like it's uh, sealed on two sides. Can I get it off? Yes. I'm pulling a piece off to sketch things, or to try out the supplies with. And skip that. What are these? Wow, they're really long. Um, my uh, first reaction is I don't love it, but that doesn't mean I won't love it in the future. Tricolor Spectrum Noir Aqua. And... There's a little bit of a glare from my light. Maybe I can move it. Um, that is on here. These brush-tipped markers each contain three water-soluble colors, perfect for mixing and blending. Retail price at $14.95. Does that mean for three of them? Probably. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Okay, I just don't like how long they are, so we'll see if I if it grows on me. I see a water brush, Caran d'Ache water brush. This looks like a pretty nice one. I've had lots of water brushes before, but, uh, oh, this is one of those, like, squeeze-to-fill kind, I think. So, um, fill it with water, or is it a plunger? It is a plunger. Okay, so, I have some water here. Not sure if I'm a fan of the plunger system, because it seems like I didn't really fill it. Ooh, that's a different, wait a minute. Oh, my phone turned off. Darn. Okay, it's fiber tipped. I did not notice that, so. Can you see that? This is not a brush. It's not a water brush. It's like a water marker. That's, um, never had anything like that before. I'm trying to get some water into the tip there. Oop, I always kind of, I like push it too hard and I'm not great with water brushes. I think I've got some on there now, hopefully. Hmm. Huh. I don't know about that either. Boy, this is kind of, um, it's not as exciting, but that doesn't mean it's not good. I say, Pit Artist pen, Brush Pen in Walnut Brown. I believe this is a new color for me, so that's good. And then I did pull this out earlier with the Equaline Liquid Water Color. Is it the same what color this is? So let's just try out the Pit Artist Marker. I think these are India ink. Nice. I like this color, and I don't think I have it at all, so that's a win for me, but not necessarily for everyone. And this should be water, yes, waterproof India ink. Let's see what happens here. Got it on the tip of the marker. So it moves around a little bit because I just put it down. How do you... This is different. I might end up liking that. I don't know. It's just really different to me. And then the dye-based watercolor offers intense transparent color. Try diluting it with water to create a range of values. I'm going to just drop some on. It's a beautiful blue there. And see what happens with my marker. This might take a while to uh, get the blue off of there now, though. Ecoline liquid. I don't have a lot of familiarity with hot pressed watercolor paper either, so this could be a challenging, challenging box. But that is one of the reasons why I subscribe is to challenge myself. So. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I keep saying that. 
You're getting tired of that, I'm sure. Okay, so trying to get the blue off of the tip. Maybe I'll just dip it in the water. It's taking way too long. And since we don't have a brush, I'm going to reach over here because I feel like that's at least for the video portion going to be faster. I grabbed just a brush and I'm just going to pull this color out. And I don't have a um, ceramic dish handy at the moment. What was I thinking, huh? I've used Ecoline, you know, what liquid watercolor before, and you know, it does what it's supposed to. I wouldn't say I'm anywhere near an expert. Oh, we have to try these. There's lots of colors now. That is nice. So, try color. Ooh, kind of a green combination. Oops, I'm like mashing it. And I ran out of room here. So let's see. Whoops. Shouldn't... Okay, I'm confused. Like, it's medium, and then light, and then dark. Shouldn't it be like dark, medium, light, or light, medium, dark? But... And there's... Bud green, meadow, and verdant green. This one is fresh verdant. Fresh verdant. Okay. What? Why do they both say fresh verdant? I'm <laughs> just so confused here. Okay. And I probably took way too long. It has already dried on there, so it's not moving around. Let's just see what other colors there are, though. There's gold crimson and sunset warm fiery okay maybe that's the set name this one's gold then crimson and sunset that's a lovely color combination there and then we have rose pink jasmine and tulip and this would be the rose pink Jasmine and Tulip. Hmm. I'm going to have to ex play with these and experiment and stuff, but that is the box. So I'll catch you back in a moment with some art and maybe some thoughts. Thanks for watching. Okay, so after I turned the camera off, I read that you can also use this water brush to uh, make your own little marker. And I was just kind of struggling with the um, application of it. Yeah. So anyway, I thought I'd try to... I put the blue ink in there. So that's what's in there right now. And the other thing I have to say is that I had a concept for the art here and my idea was like a ra an umbrella and the water turning into a flower or something. And then my daughter here helped me get the better idea. And so this was her little sketch. Um, and so it was kind of a collaboration between my daughter and I to come up with the idea for this sketch. So I want to definitely give her that credit. So then we'll go ahead and speed this up and... Okay, so um, what I did here was I watered down the pit marker in the beginning to get kind of a lighter brown so I could have a little variety with that. I really struggled with the hot press watercolor paper and yes, I'm not very familiar with it. I think that I lack some of the skill in controlling the amount of water. Maybe I was using too much water, but I found that I had a lot of feathering and I did try to dry it with a heat gun in between, but it still wasn't enough to dry it to keep it from feathering so that was really frustrating. I watered down the Ecoline ink also and used it um, to do the light wash of the blue. Um, the pan the markers on they're growing on me. I they were actually pretty easy to use in three colors in one so I did like those. Uh, I wanted I wish there was a black or something so I, I kind of mixed the blue and the brown to get a darker color to outline my umbrella but you can see in the end there's so much feathering I wanted more of a crisp line with the raindrops and I just couldn't achieve it 
Uh, so I don't know if it's because it's the hot press paper or not, but yeah, I was really frustrated and disappointed in that. But in the end, I think I do like the piece that I was able to come up with. It's just, I think, I don't know if the supplies just didn't work well together or if it was a lack of skill on my part to be able to control the water and with the hot press paper. So you'll have to let me know your thoughts in the comments. Maybe you know more than I do on this subject, so that would help. And I really appreciate you taking the time to watch and let me know what you think of the concept of the art. I love the concept and how that turned out. But yeah, I definitely didn't like how I couldn't get a crisp line with the raindrops. And so that's that. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful creative day. Bye.